Semyon Dragutchinsev. He is arguably the most underrated playmaker of the 2018 draft, according to this article on Habs on the Prize. This is, of course, a Montreal Canadian-centered article source, but they did have this article and it was providing of some really good and interesting points. So I wanted to talk about Durar Guchinsev in this video today because he is just such an amazing young player. And I think Leafs fans, looking at this pick, taken in the third round, 76th overall, might have been questioning, hey, why did we take him? He was ranked in like the 150s by all these scouting and projection articles. They all had him going so late, so why did we take him at 76th? Well, it's because Durar Guchinsev is legitimately a player who, in my opinion, does deserve that much attention. He played for the Peterborough Peets last year in the OHL, and it was really a great story that they got over there for the Peets with that line. And I say that line because Semyon Dragochinsev played as the center for Nikita Korostolev and Pavel Gogolev, two players who are not necessarily within NHL rights right now. Korostolev was drafted by the Leafs back in 2015, but he most recently played for the Laval Rocket and is now heading over to the KHL and Pavel Gogolev wasn't drafted in the 2018 draft. Dragochinsev, however, was, and he was taken in the third round. And these three were all just incredible players to watch. Karostolev led the charge with 75 points in 64 games as a 20-year-old. Dragochinsev grabbed himself 51 points in 68 games played, and Pavel Gogolev was able to net himself a whopping 47 points in 66 games. Of course, none of these guys were really number one, number two OHL league scorers, mind you. Of course, Karostolev was over a point per game, but I digress. We're talking about Dragochinsev here, and he was arguably the biggest driving force of this line. All three of these guys were able to one-time it into the net with pure accuracy. It was awesome to watch for the Peterborough Peets last season. Dragochinsev, in general, is one of the more intriguing guys because he was born September 15th, 2000. So he's literally like a few days away from being a 2019 eligible prospect. He was just on the cusp of being able to be drafted this year, and he's one of the youngest guys to have been drafted in 2018. And on top of that, he's 5'10", 159 pounds. He's not big at all. He's got a small stature, and he's not that tall. So, this guy, this young Russian player, who's extraordinarily young, extraordinarily short, and extraordinarily light, was able to put up 51 points in 68 games as one of the driving playmakers in the OHL. That is why the Leafs grabbed him at the third round spot. And overall, Dragochinsev, if you watch some of his highlights, he's a player who has some of the best patience I've ever seen. This was highlighted in that Habs on the Prize article as well. So you can go over there and read that if you want. But Dragochinsev is a player who doesn't overreact to anything. He's always thinking two, three steps ahead and visualizing what exactly is going on on the ice and responding accordingly too. There were many plays in his highlight packages and whatnot where he has the puck. Guys are charging towards him and instead of quickly just flicking the puck around the boards, he waits, drags them in, lets them attach themselves to him a little bit, and then BAM! He gets it right through their legs or something, finds Korostolev or Gogolev, they snipe it in. His poise as a playmaker is so strong, and at a really small stature, it's easy to see why people could overlook him, but his talent is there. And it's not even just the playmaking, his shot is pretty good as well. There were many highlights of him in the Ovechkin spot, kneeling on the one knee with that right-handed bomber of a one-timer and netting the puck in several times. He's able to do that on a consistent basis as well as provide a really good offensively-minded player sense towards his teammates. If you want to take a look at his skating, this was also in that Habs article. He's good. Not necessarily the best, but he's good. 
he's got some quick feet and some quick hands to that match that foot speed. And with that, it allows him to blow by guys and get through players, deke himself through one or two guys, and go in on net. So overall, the Maple Leafs really did take a shot with this player over here. Dragochinsev is arguably this year's most underrated playmaking center, and this Habs on the Prize article has him as the most underrated playmaking center. It's easy to see why other teams overlooked him, considering his stature doesn't indicate an NHL talent at all, and this is also the same reason as to why he was projected to be drafted in the late 100s by a ton of scouting articles. But, nevertheless, the Maple Leafs took him at 76th, and now... All we gotta do is watch as he leads the Peterborough Peets to greatness, because Karostalev is gone. So, guys like Gogolev and Dragochinsev are going to need to be in a position to boost themselves up to levels never seen before. They need to drive everything now. They still got other guys too, like Jonathan Ang and all that, but that trio, that Russian trio, is not there anymore. It's more like the Russian duo now. So... What exactly does the future hold in store for Semyon Dragochinsev? Nobody really knows. But what we do know is that he is a great quality offensive talent. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Gaming, and bye. <laughs>